Minardi Minardi was an Italian automobile racing team and constructor founded in Fayence in 1979 by Giancarlo Minardi. It competed in the Formula One World Championship from 1985 until 2005 with little success, nevertheless acquiring a loyal following of fans. In 2001, to save the team from folding, Minardi sold it to Australian businessman Paul Stoddart, who ran the team for five years before selling it on to Red Bull GmbH in 2005 who renamed it Scuderia Toro Rosso. During its time in F1, the team scored a total of 38 championship points, 16 of these were earned by the team's first driver, Pierre Luigi Martini. Martini also recorded the team's only front row start, qualifying second at the 1990 United States Grand Prix, and he led a lap during the 1989 Portuguese Grand Prix, the only time a Minardi led a lap. The team never achieved a podium finish, only managing three fourth place finishes Martini twice in 1991 and Christian Fittipaldi in 1993. In the 21 seasons, Minardi entered 37 drivers. 13 had Italian nationality, the others came with 13 different nationalities. Martini started in 103 Grands Prix for the team, while Morbidelli and Jean started 33 times. Before Minardi's demise, the team was a particularly well-liked team within Formula One circles for its friendliness, accessibility, and lack of corporate culture. On the track, their cars were regarded by many as well designed for their tiny budget, their low position recognized as a result of a lack of funds rather than a poor car. They also resisted employing pay drivers more than most other financially strapped teams. Former minority drivers include double world champion Fernando Alonso, Grand Prix winners Alessandro Nanini, Giancarlo Fisichella, Yarno Trulli, and Mark Webber. Kart IndyCar World Series double champion Alex Zanardi and race winners Justin Wilson and Christian Fittipaldi, and 24 Hours Off Le Mans overall winners Michel Albortu and Marc Jean. The Minardi family has a long-standing involvement in motorsport. Giancarlo Minardi's grandfather had a Fiat dealership in Fayenza since 1927, while his father, Giovanni Minardi, competed in his own cars in the late 1940s. After his death, John Carlo took over the racing part of the family business. He ran customer cars in Formula 2 under the name Scuderia Everest from 1972 to 1979 and in 1976 briefly ran a customer Formula 1 Ferrari 312T with John Carlo Martini, uncle of Pierre Luigi Martini. Martini Sr. qualified 15th for the race of champions at Brands Hatch but failed to start the race after an accident during the opening lap. The team then competed at the BRDC International Trophy in Silverstone where Martini finished 10th. In 1979 Minardi received financial backing from well-known Italian motor racing patron Piero Mancini and set up the Minardi racing team as a Formula 2 constructor. The team first competed under the Minardi name in the 1980 European Formula 2 Championship. Rather than using a customer chassis, the team commissioned a BMW power design from Giacomo Colliere's Fly Studios, previously responsible for the Fittipaldi automotive team's F5A Formula 1 car. Minardi enjoyed four moderately successful Formula 2 seasons with a variety of young Italian and South American drivers, including Alessandro Nanini and Johnny Ciccato. The team's most notable result was a 1981 win at the Misano round by Michel Albortu. Minardi left the lower division at the end of 1984. Although in 1986 a modified version of their final Formula 2 car, the 283, was entered without success in two rounds of the Formula 3000 championship which had replaced Formula 2 in 1985. During 1984, Minardi took the decision to enter Formula 1 the following year. Colliery designed the M184, the team's prototype Formula 1 car around Alfa Romeo's V8 turbocharged engine but when engineer Carlo Chitti left Alfa Romeo to found Motorai Moderni, Minardi became the only customer for his new V6 engine design. The engine was not ready for the start of the season, so the team converted their 185 chassis to accept a Cosworth DFV engine for the first two races. The single car team was unsuccessful in its first year. Scoring no points. The new engine was underpowered, and driver Pierre Luigi Martini finished only two races, although he was also classified 11th at the German Grand Prix despite stopping with engine problems. Martini's best position was 8th in the 1985 Australian Grand Prix, behind Hubert and Gotter in an Osala. Nonetheless, the team expanded to two cars for the season. In 1988, Minardi switched to Cosworth engines. And in 1989 it became top entrant for Pirelli's return to Formula One. 
The team was moderately successful in the midfield through the late 1980s and early 1990s, giving a succession of Italian drivers their first chance at the top level, including Alessandro Nannini, Pierluigi Martini, and Gianni Morbidelli. Martini in particular was synonymous with Minardi, eventually having three spells with the team. He drove for them on their debut in 1985, scored their first point in the 1988 United States Grand Prix, although he had been running fifth for quite a long time during the race until being passed by Tyrrell's Jonathan Palmer, took their only front row start at 1990 Ursa Grand Prix, their only lap leading a race in the 1989 Portuguese Grand Prix, where he finished fifth, and scored their joint best F1 result up to that point. In 1991 Minardi became the first team in modern times to make use of customer engines from Ferrari and in 1992 they used Lamborghini V12S. In 1993 Minardi enjoyed a good campaign, collecting seven points thanks to Christian Fittipaldi's fourth place in the 1993 South African Grand Prix and fifth place in the 1993 Monaco Grand Prix and Fabrizio Barbaza's sixth places in the 1993 European Grand Prix and 1993 San Marino Grand Prix. As the number of small teams shrank, Minardi slipped from the midfield towards the back of the grid. Money woes hit and in 1994 Minardi joined his team with BM Scuderia Italia in an effort to survive. Giancarlo Minardi retained 14.5% with the remaining 85.5% distributed between the Scuderia Italia investors and Defendente Marniga. In 1994 Martini finished fifth at both the 1994 Spanish Grand Prix and 1994 French Grand Prix while Michel Albortu scored his last point in Formula 1 with a sixth place in the 1994 Monaco Grand Prix. Acknowledging that the team was struggling, Bernie Ecclestone spoke to Flavio Briatore, who agreed to buy a share in the team in 1995. In 1996 Italian businessman Gabriele Rumi, former owner of the Fond Metal team switched his sponsorship support from Tyrrell to Minardi. He gradually increased his interest in the Faenza outfit, becoming co-owner and chairman. In 1997 Minardi teamed up with engine manufacturer Brian Hart. For the season the team were forced to use 1,998 spec Ford Zetec RV10 engines, which were rebadged as fond metal engines in deference to his financial input. However, Rumi's poor health forced him to withdraw his backing at the end of the season. Points were rare during this time, Pedro Lamy scored his one and only point in Formula 1 with a sixth place in the 1995 Australian Grand Prix. This result was followed by a long barren spell until Mark Jean finished sixth in the 1999 European Grand Prix. That same race, Luca Badur had been running fourth until his gearbox failed with 13 laps to go, at which point the Italian burst into tears next to his stricken car. Other Minardi drivers also came close to scoring points, including Shinji Nakano who finished seventh at the 1998 Canadian Grand Prix and Esteban Toro, who finished eighth at the 1998 San Marino Grand Prix. Minardi was known for not using pay drivers, but for the 2000 season, the team signed Argentinian Gaston Mazacane, who only acquired the seat thanks to backing from the short-lived pay television channel Pan American Sports Network. The team, now near collapse, was purchased by Australian businessman Paul Stoddard in early 2001. Merging it with his European Racing Formula 3000 team. Minardi's performance at the 2002 Australian Grand Prix ended up to be particularly successful, with Australian driver Mark Webber's bringing the car home in fifth place in his first Formula One race and Malaysian pay driver Alex Young finishing seventh. Another memorable episode happened during the 2003 Brazilian Grand Prix. The race was stopped just after 75% distance, after treacherous weather and a sequence of accidents, including a spin into the grass for lead Minardi driver Joseph Verstappen. Stoddard later claimed that Verstappen had enough fuel on board to last until just after the time the red flag was eventually waved, due to the large number of safety car laps. Assuming Stoddard is being truthful, Verstappen may well have won this race had he not spun. During its final years, the Minardi team was almost as famous for its politics as its racing. Stoddard was described as the Formula One team's unofficial shops toward. During his time as team principal, Stoddard campaigned for reduced costs in the sport. He appealed to the competing car manufacturers for an agreement where the independent teams in Formula One would get cheaper engine deals than at present. In return, the team principals who would benefit from this would support the works teams when it came to opposing new rule changes enforced by the FIA such as the proposed ban on traction control. Before the start of the 2004 season, however, Stoddard threatened to withdraw his support against the ban on traction control, 
but later changed his mind. Midway through the 2004 season, the other teams voted to change the unpopular single lap qualifying system back to the old one-hour format, but Stoddard voted against because it would also mean the 107% rule being reintroduced, this meant the change never occurred, as a unanimous vote was required to change something so significant in the middle of a season. Before the 2005 Australian Grand Prix Stoddart initially threatened to withdraw his cars if they were made to comply with the revised regulations for 2005. Stoddart claimed that Minardi could not afford to adapt their cars. Once again Stoddart ended up withdrawing his threat. Stoddart has also repeatedly called for the resignation of the FIA's president, Max Mosley, particularly in the aftermath of the 2005 United States Grand Prix where the majority of teams withdrew from the race due to safety concerns about their Michelin tires. While Minardi had run Bridgestone tires, Stoddart had offered to compromise with the Michelin teams but Mosley had rejected it. In 2004 Minardi was represented by two rookies, Italian Gian Maria Jimmy Bruni and Hungarian Salt Baumgartner. During the year, they celebrated their 20th season in F1. Baumgartner scored Minardi's first point in more than two years at the United States Grand Prix, finishing eighth. Baumgartner was also the first Hungarian to score a point in a world championship F1 race. In 2005, Minardi's drivers were Christian Albers and Patrick Friesaker. They amassed a total of seven points following the debacle of the 2005 United States Grand Prix, in which they finished fifth and sixth respectively. After losing financial backing from his sponsors before the 2005 German Grand Prix, Patrick Friesaker was replaced by Dutch Jordan test driver Robert Dornbos, creating the first all-Dutch driver lineup in Formula One since Carl Godin de Beaufort and Ben Pond drove together for the Akiri Marsberg and team at the 1962 Dutch Grand Prix at Zandvoort. In 2005, Paul Stoddard stated that he would sell Minardi if he could find the right buyer. Stoddard claimed that he had 41 approaches. His criterion for a sale was the ability of a buyer to move the team forward and leave the team based in Faenza. The drinks manufacturer Red Bull GmbH, which already owned another Formula One team, Red Bull Racing, decided to set up a second team to promote American drivers that had risen through its young driver program, Red Bull Driver Search. Ending several weeks of speculation on September 10, 2005 Red Bull announced it would take control of Minardi in November and run it as their rookie team from 2006. Minardi fans worldwide immediately started an online petition to save the Minardi team name and the team's 20-year heritage in F1 after the news broke. The petition was not successful and the team was renamed Scuderia Toro Rosso for the 2006 season. The greatly increased funding from Red Bull including the use of the Red Bull chassis and Ferrari engines, gradually led to improved results, culminating in Toro Rosso's maiden win at the 2008 Italian Grand Prix. Giancarlo Minardi and Paul Stoddard have both made use of the Minardi name in new motorsport ventures. On January 1, 2006, Giancarlo Minardi reacquired certain rights to use the Minardi name in racing. He also announced that he was licensing the Minardi name to establish Team GP Racing in the Junior Euro Formula 3000 series, to be entitled Minardi Team by GP Racing. The team raced with moderate success, scoring a podium in each leg of the spa round in June 2006. For 2007, Minardi Team by GP Racing combined forces with GP2 Team Piquet Sports, to form Minardi Piquet Sports. For 2008 the team was known simply as Piquet Sports. In 2006, Paul Stoddard declared his intention to enter a new team called European Minardi F1 Team Limited into Formula One beginning in. His application was unsuccessful, with the 12th place on the grid being awarded to ProDrive. Instead, Stoddard turned his attentions to the U.S.-based Champ Car Series. On December 18, 2006, it was confirmed that he had purchased a controlling interest in the CTE Racing HVM Champ Car Team and had the team would be renamed Minardi Team USA. In 2007, the team had reasonable success. Robert Dornbos took two wins and several podium places on his way to third in the series, winning Rookie of the Year honors. When the series folded before its planned 2008 season, Stoddart's involvement ceased, with the team entering the IndyCar series under the HVM name. Stoddart retains the right to use the minority name for a British registered company. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.